reason why I wrote this poem was because I was tired of seeing things that were going on in um, Missouri, Ferguson, Missouri. And I believe us as black people, we should not have to live that way, especially in 2014. So this poem is called Hands Up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Guns drawn. Life flashes before my eyes. I am a black woman in America. I am just as familiar with lying down on the ground as I am lying in beds in prison. America wasn't built for the black man. America was built to keep down the black man. Dressed in disguises of a suit and living in the White House. Truth be told, he's no different than a man walking down the street with sweatpants and a t-shirt. They say profiling doesn't exist. I say unless your skin is brown. Or unless your last name is Bell, Weaver, Brown, or any other last name on a tombstone as a result of being gunned down. Hands up! Hands up. But there isn't any party music in the background. Just a scared black man kneeling to the ground. Pow! Call it in. 12.43 p.m. Why must we be second class? We built monuments for a country that builds jails for us. Oh God, who do we trust? Most of the time, the ones behind the guns look just like us. Poverty is the new excuse to keep blacks confined. Brainwashing blacks is like emptying gold mines. We were knowledgeable kings and queens. Now we're associated with half-price hookers and dope fiends. Where's our dream? Hands up, nigga! Voices from offices itching to pull the trigger. The media looks at the issue through a microscopic lens, but the issue is much bigger. You're mentally sleeping, black America. Practice what you preach. Stop killing your very own and fight for justice in these streets. Hands up, black man with picketing signs and loud voices. The future is in your hands. Start making wiser choices.